Today we're going to be looking at an iconic Italian car. Ferrari? Nope. Lamborghini? Even better, the Fiat 500e. Ooh. Cabriolet. Ooh. Welcome to the Faster Project. <laughs> oh my goodness! Can I, please, can I drive? Nope. Please. Planet Earth is in trouble, and we need to transition to sustainable transport faster. So today, myself, Rick Wollemere, and leading battery chemist, Dr. Ewan McTurk, are checking out the all-electric Fiat 500e. Battery, 42 kilowatt hours total, 37.3 usable. Range 140 miles or 224 kilometers according to EV database, which tends to be pessimistic. Chances are you'll get more. Whoa. Whoa. Performance an 87 kilowatt motor, 220 newton meters of torque, and not to 60 in 9 seconds, all in a car that weighs 1,405 kilos. Charging there's an 11 kilowatt onboard charger, but it will charge it up to 85 kilowatts on CCS. So that's pretty fast. I'd say so. I mean, it only charges it noticeably above 50 kilowatts until about 60%, but that's still pretty decent, especially given the battery size. Nice. Right, let's drive. Yep. Oh, all right, yeah. All right, so here we are in the back of the Fiat 500e. It's not as big in the, in the back as, as you'd like. No, it is uh, a fair bit smaller than some of the competition, isn't it, for the rear occupant space. But that said, out of the four occupants, including the driver, that you can have in this car, three of the seats, so the front passenger and the two rears, have Isofix fitting, so you can actually take three little people on a school run, which is quite handy. At Brucey Bonus, you don't get many cars with Isofix in the front and the back. I'll tell you what, the steering is, is light, yet reassuringly weighted. That's really it does quite feel nice. pretty solid, doesn't it? It does. It's such a small car. The brakes are, ooh, they're definitely Breaky. a bit, yeah, they're a bit keen, aren't they? And that's not the regenerative braking, that's the, the foot brake at low speed ooh. there. Let's talk about regenerative braking. What is it? So regenerative braking is when the electric motor basically goes into reverse and under braking, what it does is you take your foot off the throttle, the electric motor starts gathering energy from the momentum of the car, turns it back into electricity, which it stuffs into the battery. So that gets you more range. And it also means that you're not going through brake pads anywhere near as quickly as you would in a petrol or diesel car. I've yet to properly give this one's regen a go. Let's have a try coming up to here. This standard setting is ooh, virtually non-existent, but you can change that. And in terms of the acceleration, well, let's chuck our foot down here, shall we? You know, for a small, oh goodness me, that was very keen. Yeah, it was scrabbling away for grip there, yeah. If you're used to, like a Tesla or something like that, you know, which is like being rear-ended by a high-speed train and then that was nothing special. But if you're used to a petrol car coming from a, a gutless little one-litre engine to a car that looks like it would have a one-litre engine in it, but actually has a fair amount of punch, that 87 kilowatts adds up pretty quick, as does the 220 newton metres of torque, which means it can get its power down awfully quickly. Right, what are we driving and where are we going? So. What we have is the La Prima spec of the 500e. That's the top end specification that has just about everything that you'd possibly want to throw at it. In terms of where we're going, we're in Glasgow, which of course hosted uh, COP26 last year, um, part of which the kind of fringe events took part at the Arnold Clark Innovation Centre that we've just left. This is one of their vehicles that we're borrowing just now. We're just off for a wee drive around Glasgow because this is a car that's predominantly aimed at urban environments, but that said, the range of it is more than enough if you want to go cross country, especially with that rapid charge capability. So this is a little car designed for the city, but punches above its weight. Do not think that it's only suitable for urban environments. Can, can, I, can I drive? This is way too much fun. No. Can I, please, can I drive? No. Please, no. Can I drive? No. Come on, can I drive? Where next? Uh, I guess we're heading back to base, aren't we? Let's test out Navigate to 
the Arnold Clark Innovation Centre in Glasgow. Navigate to the Arnold Clark Innovation Centre in Glasgow. Navigate to Curl Street in Glasgow. Do, like oh, do I need to say it in Scottish? Navigate to G116NA. Which one do you want? So yeah, we've just discovered that the voice activated sat nav doesn't understand a Scottish or English accent, uh, which is... Is it an Italian car? That said though, Could you know, you the... Please repeat that? No. I mean, other than that, the, you know, the map itself does look clear enough. The, the touch screen is fairly responsive. There's maybe slight delays, but nowhere near as bad as other cars that I've, I've seen. And it is a very clear image on that touch screen. Yeah, it's beautiful. And... I like, the, I like the way it's set out, you've got some nice knobs and buttons here so it's not like full on touch screen like you get in, in the Tesla which is great but also has a, has a few drawbacks on the, on the steering wheel as well, easy to use, does feel like a, a well built high quality car. You know the, the 500e is actually built on a different platform from the 500 petrol car even though they look very very similar, um, it is a separate platform so it's built and ground up as an electric vehicle. How is it in the back for you? Do you know what? I thought you were going to snap my legs in half when you pushed the seat back, but actually it's not bad. Could you do a long journey in this car? Uh, I reckon I could do a couple of hours uh, and then I would need a break and then the next couple of hours would be get, you know, begin to get a bit tiresome. Hey, sunshine on a rainy day. And it is makes actually raining. Makes my soul. <laughs> I can feel the spits of rain already. I mean, this car is perfect for Glasgow, isn't it? There we go. Would you like an umbrella? What I love most about the Fiat 500e is that it has a cabriolet roof. So we're going to call this car Leonardo de Cabriolet. <laughs> we might cut that. We'll definitely cut that. So the turning circle is a very impressive 9.7 metres. Um, and certainly we, we found that out when we were uh, swapping drivers. This is so tight, perfect oh for my urban environments. Goodness gracious me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you could probably turn around in a garage in this. Pretty much, yeah. This is insane. Is anyone else getting dizzy? I'm not too bad just getting okay, see Oh, actually, maybe the not. Way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, if you spin the other way the same amount of times, it balances out the dizziness. That's science for you. Is that true? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you could tell me anything and I would believe you. Oh, well, that, that's gone. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there are two USB sockets, one of which can charge uh, in the little ducat in the centre console there which is next to the artist formerly known as the cigarette lighter. No vanity mirror. Uh, there's also an SOS button, so if you're involved in a heavy accident and you need some help, press that and it will get through to the emergency services. Although that said, uh, the vehicle will actually automatically contact the emergency services if there's a crash that's heavy enough to deploy the airbags. Let's not test that. But let's test the brakes. Ooh, good. Oh, those are good brakes. Whoa. Very good brakes. That is really impressive. And that is some broken camera brakes. equipment. <laughs> oh, you fixed the umbrella. I you fixed the umbrella. <laughs> the brakes were that good. It fixed the umbrella. <laughs> oh, no. Umbrella's broken again. So, you, a quick word from you in the back. How's your driving experience of this uh, amazing electric car been? It has bowled me over. I, I honestly went into this thinking, oh, it's going to be a small car. It's probably not going to be that great. Genuinely, it's addictively good fun to drive. The brakes are incredible and they need to be the way the Rick was driving it. Um, the handling is, is just spot on. It is a proper little driver's car, perfect for cities. I mean, that turning circle is nuts, but also, yeah, it will quite happily do long journeys as well. And I'll tell you what, surprisingly comfy for adults in the back as well. Who'd have thought it? Well done for you. Congratulations, well done for you. And thank you for watching The Faster Project. This project has been supported through the European Union's Interreg 5A programme.